he won't tell me a whole lot about himself. I don't know a whole lot about what he does. All he says is he lives in a sitcom. So with the sitcom master himself, Mr. Peter Squicciarini, talks about public key cryptography. Thank you. All right. I don't have a lot of time here. I want to focus in on the very core of public key cryptography, the very thing that makes it so revolutionary, and it is revolutionary. I know what you're probably thinking already is public key cryptography sounds pretty boring. It does sound boring. It's like a mouthful of sawdust. Can't, I'm not going to say it for another five minutes. It's ridiculous. I'm going to rename public key cryptography just for this presentation. I'm going to rename it to the avocado. That's easy. That's easy to say. The avocado. That's public key cryptography. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves when learning about something new is what problem does this solve? In the case of the avocado, it's simple. It solves a problem with keys. Keys are the foundation of every encryption system in the past. Keys, it's just like the key you used to lock the door to your house or start your car. Very same concept. In fact, the best example I can think of of a key is an inside joke. Because an inside joke is something two people share, some memory they have or something. But when a third person listens in, they don't get it. They can't get it. They don't share that, that key, the piece of information. So in a cryptology context, this key is the one thing that keeps everything secure. If you ever do those cryptogram puzzles, maybe in the newspaper, which letter matches up with which letter, that is the key. If you know that, it's so simple. So what's the problem with keys? Is there a problem with keys? There is. This is the problem. Suppose I wanted to send a copy of the Constitution to the President of the United States, because apparently he hasn't read it yet. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't want to make sure it remains, you know, secure in transit, you know, because who knows what could happen. Um, and typically sending through FedEx would be fine, but in our case, FedEx is super corrupt. In this example, FedEx is super corrupt. They're, they'd rip open every package they can open, and they'd read the Constitution read it. They destroy it. It's terrible. So I put it in a locked box, because FedEx can't open it if it's in a locked box. But that's the problem. If it's in a locked box, the president can't open it either, because I'm the only one with a key. So I'm going to have to send him the key to my locked box. So I'll have to put the key in another locked box. And I'll have to put the key to that locked box in another locked box. That's a lot of locked boxes, and there's always an extra key. It's like government spending. It's like it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with keys. If the president and I have never communicated before, how can we even begin to communicate? Because we've never agreed on how we communicate securely. So this is exactly what the avocado fixes. So in our example, if I wanted to send a copy of the Constitution to the president, what I would do is I put it in a locked box. Yeah, just like before. And I would send it to him, but he can't open it. So he put his own lock on the box. He'd send it back to me, i take off the lock I put on there, send it back to him, he'd take the lock he put on there off, he'd open the box, read the Constitution, and bring America out of communism. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant. I never had to give him my key, he never had to give me his key. The avocado, that's, that's the basis of it, but the inventors, they're thinking, We've got to make it even better, because if I want to send something else to the president, something maybe like the Bill of Rights, something else he hasn't read, I want to make sure that I didn't have to go through this padlock dance again. So it would be better if we could just agree on a key so we wouldn't have to go through this. This is what they came up with. We both start with two locks. No boxes this, this time, just, just two locks. What I do to start is I close one of my locks, and I send it to you. You close one of your locks, you send it to me. What does FedEx see here? They don't see anything. Two locks going in the mail. They can't even do anything with the locks, so they'll just let them pass through. But when I get your lock, I can take the extra one I had and close it on yours. And you can take the extra one you had and close it on mine. And what happens? We have exactly the same unique combination of our two locks. It's brilliant, because if we were exchanging numbers instead of locks, if we were applying a mathematical algorithm instead of closing a lock, we would have ended up with a unique numeric key, a key we could use for secure communication in all future data exchanges. That's revolutionary, because I just agreed on a key with someone while someone was listening, and, and no one can stop us. The inventors of the avocado, 
they realized there was a problem with exchanging data. And in the 70s, they actually turned the whole problem on its head and fixed it. So what's to stop any of you from taking the problems in our century? Problems like obesity, problems like government spending, problems like morality, because there are problems, and go turn something on its head. Thank you very much. All right, good job.